Hello, hello everyone. Today is Wednesday, July the 27th, and I would like to welcome you all back to the Daily Digital. Um, this is the one show where I keep you all well informed of what's going on in our digital world, all the technology and cool stuff that we uh that we tend to miss. Um, so today we just have a couple of things to go over. The first one is gonna be about a company um, that is actually allowing people to create their own metaverse. Um, well, they create the metaverse for you. You just tell them what you want it to be, what you want it to look like, um, and then you just you got your own metaverse now. Um, the next one is going to be about the different domains that we end up having, um, and most of this is going to be essentially just all on the tech side. Um, there's a bunch of uh, Man, if I'm not mistaken, there's like 170 plus uh, different domains that are out there. So these are just a couple of them that are more tech related because um, this is kind of technically a tech show. The next one is going to be all about um, dividends. So if you don't know what dividends are, definitely stay tuned for that. And the last one is going to be something that is going to be quite interesting. Um this is called this is called the next Dubai. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave that right there. All right, appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing on the block here is a company called Biz Logic, B I Z Z Logic dot com, and they're just a company that ends up creating a metaverse for you for your business, for your brand. Um, they've done big things with them. Um, and I actually saw these guys, um, guys, gals on YouTube. There was like a YouTube advertisement. I have not used them myself, so please don't take this at face value. Um, I have no clue how good they are or whatnot. Um, they, all I know is that they have money to run Facebook or Insta or, golly, <laughs> they have money to run YouTube ads. Um, they did show that they did a metaverse with PNG, um, with LMT Group. Um, there's a couple of other partners here as well that they've been working with. You can kind of see in the background here what they're capable of doing. Uh, so if you are a company who's been looking to get into the metaverse, don't know how, um, why not just let another company that's already doing it for other people make yours as well? Uh, I'm not sure what their pricing is or anything like that, but you know, it's a new technology. So hopefully it's not too, too crazy. Um, but here we go. We are specialized in creating immersive spaces for trainings, events, visualization, planning, and collaboration. Um, they, so they do metaverse events. Uh, they tailored virtual worlds that are sustainable, reusable, and globally accessible via a browser, which is one of the key things about being in a virtual reality, uh, that they are sustainable and reusable. Um, they do training and education. Uh, this is a big thing that's been happening, uh, especially among the medical world. Doctors has been using this for trainings. Uh, doctors have even been using this for actual surgeries. Uh, they're like out of town over in Egypt or something like that. And they have something to do in LA, California, uh, an emergency surgery. They can't make it there until the next two days. Well, the person's going to die. Um, and that would be unfortunate. So they are using virtual reality technology and being able to still complete the surgery. Uh, virtual productions describe a video production in a LED studio and enables film, film directors to transport their talents and products to any location without ever having to leave the film studio. Planning and visualization for real estate and architectural visualization, 3D modeling of objects has been part of the typical workflow for quite some time. Existing raw data e.g. CAD, can be used and further enhanced for visualization of virtual environments uh, for different workshops to get a proper understanding of virtual reality and how it might affect you personally and your business, you have to go ahead and experience it. Um, yes, yeah, so that's that company there. Um, you can kind of see what their virtual reality looks like here. Um, I don't know, is this virtual? This is actually a pretty good if it is virtual. That's nice. So yeah, just check out bizlogic.com if you are looking to get something 
um, created as far as like inside the metaverse or anything like that. Um, yeah, don't have much to say about that company again. I haven't used it myself. Uh, so buyer beware, I guess, and uh, proceed with caution. The next item up is 10 top level domains for tech startups. Uh, so if you are not familiar with websites um, but have used a computer before, I'll start with saying that a domain is just the web site name or the URL that you type in when you want to go to websites. So think of Amazon.com, Google.com, Facebook.com. Uh, all of those are domains. Now the top level domain is the part at the end of it, which is after the period. So the .com, .org, .net, um, dot whatever. That's the top level portion of the actual domain. Um, and if you are in the tech world and cannot find a great name for your business um, or found a great name for your business, but you cannot secure the .com version of it, um, that sucks. But right now the .com is very scarce. Uh, there's limited amount of .coms out there. And in the tech world, they have actually been using about 10 of them that are, are wonderful replacements in my opinion. Um, the top one that I usually see now is .io. And .io uh, actually was for an actual con uh, country because a lot of these um, top level domains, if people don't know, um, were different for different countries. Uh, .com was just like one of the first ones out there. Um, but like, I don't know, Australia might be like .au, um, Brazil might be .br, China might be .ch or something like that. So uh, a lot of countries have their own, you know, personal one that they use rather than just .com. Um, but the IO was for a country that is no longer being used, <laughs> I would say. Uh, so the tech company kind of just took it over and made it stand for input output um, or maybe like ones and zeros for computer um, output bits and bytes and stuff like that as well. The next one here is .ai. Uh, which uh, you can probably guess is this is for artificial intelligence um, Companies now working in artificial intelligence artificial intelligence are finding the perfect home online with the AI domain name uh, dot app uh, If you guys ever heard of a, a little company called cash app, they actually um, were one of the beginners of using this as well where they created cash dot app was their actual website um, and That's why the name kind of just stuck um, but Cash App, the app registry is run by Google and it requires an SSL certificate to use it. Uh, whether you want to create an international site for your app or simply direct users to your app store listing, that app is a perfect tool to get your app noticed. Uh, so definitely if you want to create an app, use the dot app. Um, or if you are in the development side of things, you can use dot dev. Um, uh, this is the core of any tech product is the development portion of it by a skilled team of developers. Dev says that you are right in the name. Uh, it can also be used for development tools and internal intranets to make sure you get your code just right before shipping. Uh, Mobi. Mobi is actually just short for mobile and mobile is short for mobile devices. Uh, so <laughs> Mobi was the first mobile themed domain name. Having been around since 2005, it's recognized around the world for uh, mobile information technology. Using a .mobi domain name keeps your domain short and easy to remember for um, mobile users. Um, .tech, I'm pretty sure you can probably guess why .tech <laughs> is pretty popular in the tech world, um, but it has become one of the most popular um, top level domains for the tech industry whether you're developing the hottest new app or selling servers or domains. Um, dot cloud. I don't think I've ever seen, a, I've seen the other ones before. I don't think I've ever really seen one be dot cloud before, but um, I can see why dot cloud, because everything's kind of like done in the cloud now, but uh, the future is in the cloud. Yes, it is. Cloud has become the go-to domain name for anyone working in the cloud. Uh, like if you need cloud hosting, whether you're a cloud host, developer, software platform, or SaaS service, then a .cloud domain is a perfect home for you. Um, they forgot to close their parentheses. 
moving forward, uh, .network. I'm assuming you probably guess why .network is good as well. It has become the most critical part of most businesses these days. And if you're in the infrastructure space, then .network is for you. Um, .digital. Everything's going digital now, so I, I won't even say like just in the tech industry, but uh, this will probably be a big one, period. Uh, the digital world is where we all live now. Yes, I agree. Especially in the age of COVID-19, everything is online and you can show your potential customers that you're digital ready and digital first with a dot digital domain name. And then lastly, here is dot software. If you're, if you are building an app that you're going to sell, then dot software might be a great choice for you. The word software might apl apply to more fully featured apps that spread across several platforms and computer types. Um, so yeah, so there are, those are the 10 um, top ones on this list at least, um, which I kind of pretty much agree with. Um, another one that I see around is .xyz, um, which I don't know who came up with that, but I actually like that. And shout out to the person who owns abc.xyz. Uh, that is a brilliant domain name to own right there. Uh, another one that I see pop up around too is photography. And this is not really in the tech world, but uh, artists, photographers, um, they're creating their portfolio on dot photography. Um, just because, I mean, it, it, it fits. It fits perfectly. So if you are thinking about getting a website and you don't know what your website name would be, um, try to look into some of those other top level domains. They, again, it doesn't have to be a dot com. Dot com is just more recognizable and stuff like that because uh, it's been around for so long. But, you know, times are changing. Times are shifting. It doesn't have to be dot com anymore. All righty. And the next one here is a company called DivCalc. They actually have dot app as their top level domain, DivCalc.com. And Div actually just stands for dividends. Uh, so before I go through this real quick, I just want to touch on what exactly a dividend is. Uh, dividend, you usually see it in the stock world. Uh, so think of if you purchase a stock, you hold shares in a company now, um, what they would actually end up doing is pay you in dividends, either monthly, quarterly, uh, biannually, stuff like that. And essentially when the company is doing good, they're making a lot of money, revenue, they basically pay um, dividends to the people that hold their shares. Uh, this is done in two forms, one being in cash form, one being in stock form. So cash dividends, you can also look this up as well. Uh, cash dividend is just like every three months or something like that. Uh, every quarter, they would end up just paying you out in cash dividends for holding their shares. Uh, I think Apple actually does that. They pay out dividends. Um, a lot of companies do it. I don't think all of them do, but a lot of publicly, publicly traded companies actually do do it. Um, or instead of getting a cash dividend, you could actually get a stock dividend, uh, which is a little bit better in my opinion. Um, so that way the company's cash reserves does not deplete. So their cash reserves don't decrease. Um, the, I believe the value of their company does decrease though, because what they're doing is giving you more stock. So if you own a hundred shares in that company, um, and then every three quarters, they give you like one share or something like that. Um, sooner or later, <laughs> those dividends will kind of uh, get eaten up from the value of the company. Um, so if you're thinking about getting a publicly traded company as well, think about, you know, whether you're going to be doing stock dividends or cash dividends. Um, but if you are an investor, I found this great app, which I have not downloaded and used yet, <laughs> but I found this on uh, product hunt. Um, it actually looked really, really well. And it actually helps you calculate and keep track of all of your dividends that you should be getting from different companies. Um, so you can see the stats and upcoming announcements. You can discover new dividends like other companies that are, um, uh, what's it called? Other companies that hold dividends, um, manage multiple portfolios and see detailed reports. You can see breaking news, dividend cuts and suspensions, breakdown positions by each sector, which is nice. I like that I did that. Um, it's fully customizable. That's always left to be determined, but whatever. Um, dark mode compatible. That's always a good thing. Helps your eyes and stuff like that. 
and so on and so forth. So it looks like they do have a Twitter. It looks like they do have an Instagram account as well. Uh, so check out divcalc.app or you can go straight to the App Store. Uh, this one, this link here is for Apple. Uh, I don't know if it's just synced up because I'm on an Apple computer or if they also have a um, Android app as well. But even if they don't have an Android app, trust and believe this is not the only company that's probably doing this. Um, this is probably just one of the better ones. Again, I haven't used this myself. Don't take my word for it. Please do your own research, download it, check it out, review them or reread the reviews first and then review them yourself as well. And then the last one here is something going on in Saudi Arabia. And to me, it's like it's like it's literally like the next Dubai um, or Abu Dhabi or anything like that. So is this future or is it a fantasy designs unveiled for one building city stretching 106 miles in Saudi Arabia? Um, this just got updated here today and I came across it. And if you can just look and look and see what this looks like here. Um, this looks like a long ruler that is very, very shiny. Um, and this was done on purpose. So Saudi Arabia is trying to do something very different in their country. Um, they actually did a like promo video of what it would look like if they did it in New York as well. Um, but what they're trying to do is take the entire um, area, which is, I think they said 106, yeah, 106 miles long, uh, which if you walk the 106 miles, it'll probably take you like 40 or 50 hours or something like that. Uh, so just for reference, how long that is. Um, they're going to put, what is it? Not, yeah, not, so uh, they're calling it the line. Let's start there. The line is touted as a one building city in the desert, which will stretch 106 miles and ultimately house 9 million people. Um, the line is proposed 200 meter wide, which is 656 feet building across, acting as a vertical city um, designed to sit 500 meters, which is 1640 feet above sea level. It will span 34 square kilometers, which is 13 square miles according to the press release um this for uh oh no this is an ad <laughs> um though details are scarce and they are very very scarce for right now because i've been doing some research been doing some checking um those behind the design claim the line will run entirely on renewable energy with no roads cars or emissions so imagine a world where zero emissions um high speed rail will connect section sections of the line um, the press release ads. Yeah, I mean, you guys can, again, look up some more stuff on this. Uh, check out this website here. I will definitely add the link to this in the description below. Um, but this is actually quite interesting. And I want to get, I really want to get right to the video for it. So I'm just kind of scorching through, see if anything major I want to see. So this is what the inside of it would actually look like. Um, as you can see here, they have lots and lots and lots of buildings. Again, this is considered to be a vertical city. Vertical cities already exist, so there's nothing new. Uh, they have lots of greenery there as well. They don't plan to have any cars or anything like that, so everything is going to be interconnected. And then as you can see here, this is just stretches for miles and miles and miles. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna play the video here real quick. The line will be home to 9 million residents and will be built with a footprint of just 34 square kilometers. Travel end to end in 20 minutes. CGI rendering show the 1640 feet mirrored glass facade. If completed, the line would run on 100% renewable energy and could potentially house 9 million people. Details are scarce, but Saudi Arabia's magic product is a revolution in civilization. So everything's autonomous.
backed by the Saudi government. To be healthier, knowledge is everything. So yeah, I'm really curious to know what you guys think about that there. Um, again, this is not really a new concept. It's the newest one that is going to be done in like a very, very long stretched out line. Um, imagine if like the Great Wall of China housed millions and millions of, pe of people there. Um, again, vertical cities are not new. Uh, a lot of cities or states and countries are trying to become uh, more sustainable. Um, use more renewable energy and all that good stuff. Um, but I'm really curious to see how they plan on like just. And you can see it in the video how they plan on just taking like let's say 50 houses and then bringing them all into one, stacking them up high, and then putting them behind that you know glass facade wall, um, and then stretching that for 106 miles. They again they showed something on another video um, about how it would look like if New York City did the exact same thing. It was pretty interesting. New York is a, um, <laughs> they keep saying New York is not a real place, but New York is a, just a different place. And, uh, I don't know. We're going to have to figure out in, or we're going to have to sit and see how far this actually goes. Um, it, only time will tell. I think they said they want it done by like 2030 or 2040 or something like that. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, so that is all it for today. I appreciate your guys time. Definitely do tap in with me on my social media. Um, pretty much junior underscore events. So everywhere across the board. Um, and then also let me know in the comments, what you think about the video, uh, hit the like and subscribe button for sure. And if nothing else, I appreciate you guys time and see you all later.